Hello friends, meeting again today for the third lecture in the lecture series for 10th standard. Thoda second floor pe kuch kaam chal raha hai, tak tuk awa ja raha hai, can I decided to continue. So even if noise comes, we'll continue. We should learn to focus on the things in front of us. Awa ja raha hai to aane di, beech beech mein aayega. Learn to focus on what I am talking and on the board. Okay? You have to, sometimes you have to come out of your comfort zone and try to concentrate when other noises are also there. Okay, okay. We'll start now. So let us begin with type 2 of simultaneous equations. Linear equations in two variables. In type 2, to solve equations using determinant method, this is called as Kramer's rule. Determinant method, yani first aapko malum hona chahe, determinant kya hai? What is the meaning of determinant? This is a new concept. Okay? Determinants is a concept introduced in the 10th standard. 10th, 11th, 12th, Tino is my determinants hai. Okay? So let us see the basic definition. When numbers are arranged in horizontal rows or vertical columns between two vertical lines, we get a determinant. These are two vertical lines. When you arrange numbers or certain elements in horizontal rows okay, or vertical lines, then you get a determinant. Abhi dekho kaisa hai. Horizontal rows Horizontal lines means horizontal rows. Vertical lines means vertical columns. Horizontal lines ko rows bolte, vertical lines ko columns bolte. So how many rows and columns are present here? Two rows and two columns. Correct? So the order of this determinant is 2 by 2, 2 rows and 2 columns, 2 by 2 ka determinant bolte hai. order is 2 by 2 or order sirf 2 bola to chal hai. Now in the 10th standard, you only have 2 by 2 determinants, 11, 12 mein 3 by 3 hai, 3 horizontal, 3 horizontal rows, 3 vertical columns, that is there in 11, 13, 12, don't worry about that. Second example, determinant B. It is better to name the determinants. Okay? These are the numbers are here. First row, horizontal line and row. Second row. Two rows, two columns. Two rows, two columns means two by two. Okay? Two rows and two columns. This is called as order of the determinant. Subject determinant in a when elements are arranged, sometimes instead of numbers, certain elements are arranged like A, B, C, D, and so on. But usually numbers are there. When numbers are arranged in horizontal rows and vertical columns between two lines, you get a determinant. Same thing over here. Two rows, two columns. Now every determinant has got a value. Every determinant has got a value. How to find that value? Okay. So, every determinant has a certain value found by expanding the determinant as shown below. To expand the determinant means to calculate. How do you calculate? You have to cross multiply. Now, this I have shown as a solid line. This as a dotted line. You have to take the numbers present in the solid line first. For example, over here, cross multiply 2 into 2 minus baad mein dotted line 5 into 3. But there should be a minus sign in between. Do brackets ke beech mein minus sign aani chahiye. 2 into 2 is 4, 
5 into 3 is 15. 4 minus 15 is minus 11. That means value of the determinant is minus 11, which we can show in this way. Determinant A, key value, minus 11 hai. That is the answer. That is how you find the value of the determinant. What does the smiley say? Smiley ka rule aage hai. 2 into 2 should be taken first friends. Very important rule. Baad mein 5 into 3. Ye jo smiley bolta hai beech mein. Important things hai. Dhyan mein rakho. Achcha hai. We get good advice from him. 2 into 2 should be taken first followed by 5 into 3. Yaha pe likha hai 2 into 2 minus 5 into 3. Clear? Shortcut yane kaise hai? Direct. Dekho. Yaha pe dekho hai 2 into 2 5 into 3. Let us take the second determinant. Kya karoge? How to find the value of this determinant? Minus 2 into 2, solid line, minus of, minus 5 into 3, dotted line. Pahela ye lene ka. So let us take the second determinant. What is the answer for the first determinant? Minus 11. Every determinant has an answer. Dosto second determinant le lo. Minus 2, 3, minus 5, 2. Let us follow the rules. Ye pehle lena hai. Minus 2 into 2 should be taken first. Take a minus sign. Then minus 5 into 3. Minus 4. Minus into plus is minus 4. Minus of minus 15. Minus of minus is plus 15. So minus 4 plus 15, just because the number starts with a negative sign, it does not mean that you get a negative answer. When one number is negative, the other number is positive. Subtract karo. 15 minus 4 is 11. Put the sign of the bigger number. Okay. That's the answer. So, value of the determinant B is 11. Determinant is a link. Determinant B is 11 and again that important note minus 2 into 2 should be taken first otherwise ulta ho jayega answer ulta ho jayega something else will be there that's not allowed clear okay so this is the meaning of determinant before we see how to solve equations using determinant we should know what is the meaning of determinant and how to calculate the determinant. Barabar. Let us take one example from the textbook now. Please bring your notebooks if you haven't got them. We will solve this together. Exercise 1.3, question 2. Thoda awa ja rahe, doesn't matter. Focus on the board. Seven by three, five by three. Fraction, eh? Three by two, one by two.
This was problem number problem number three. March two zero two zero. Two marks. अभी उन्होंने नाम दिया नहीं आई थोड़ा कैन नेम द डिटर्मिनेंट और डायरेक्टली एक्सपांड लेट अस फॉलो द रूल्स ऑफ स्पाइली पहला ये लेने का देन दैट अदर एक्सपांड सिंपल डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट फ्रैक्शंस 7 बाय 3 इनटू 1 बाय 2 Bracket should be taken. That is the rule. Bracket should be taken. Minus. Then three by two into five by three. Seven into one is seven. You have a multiplication sign. I am directly multiplying. Three into two is six. Two into three is six. Three into five is fifteen. I know what you are thinking. The three cancel. Why not? Can you do it? Then you would have got five by two over here. But cancel is there? Why not? Because Two into three again gives me six over over here, and when both the denominators are same, it is simple to find the LCM. So sometimes you have to use common sense because six is present here. Six is if I would have cancelled three, I would have got five by two. Then again, take the LCM of six and two. Answer will get extra, extra, extra. So. When I don't cancel, I get six here, and when you have a common LCM, common LCM, look there, and then just write the numbers seven minus fifty. Subtract smaller number from bigger number. Fifteen minus seven is eight. Bigger number has negative sign. Now reduce. Two fours are eight. Two threes are six. This is the answer. Simple baat hai na? Remaining two sums you can try on your own. So either you can keep the answer in this way, or you can write value of this determinant is minus four by three. समझ में आया सिंपल है डिटर्मिनेंट सो टूडे वी आर सीन द मीनिंग ऑफ वॉट इज अ डिटर्मिनेंट वो जरा प्रैक्टिस करो कल नहीं तो पॉन्सो विल सी हाउ टू सॉल्व इक्वेशन यूजिंग क्रेमर जू यानी विद द हेल्प ऑफ डिटर्मिनेंट वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यूज फॉर डिटर्मिनेंट क्रेमर जरूर एक दो दिन में देखते हैं बाय टिल सी